Well, hey everybody. So here I am tonight at Sunday night and I've had a longer kind of weekend. I had to work and I just wanted to show you guys this awesome geode that I found in Lake Michigan at some point in the past year. I don't remember exactly when or where, but it was on a beach in Northeast Wisconsin. Very cool. Like this thing goes deep. And then there's actually yeah, a little back kind of window comes out of it. Anyway, with this rock, I'm going to make a succulent plant. I think a lot of you know what those are. Kind of like a little cactus. Um, out of some of my beach glass that I found. I have so much of this. These smaller bits of glass and this stuff. Last week, um, I applied some very, a thin, light amount of mineral oil onto it. And I kind of cured it so that it, I don't know, it enhances it slightly. You know, it doesn't change anything. I didn't grind anything down or cut any of this up. It, this is all exactly the way I found it on the beaches. I thought, this is awesome. This is like a periwinkle piece. Those are rare. So anyway, I've decided to use this geode as a base for my little succulent. And also, I'm going to try out a new, well, new to me, a brew. A Lake Michigan, actually, state of Michigan. <laughs> um, a brewing company beer. Keweenaw. The Widowmaker. I'm kind of scared. Like, what is she holding? A crazy machine gun? I think so. So, yeah. Well, check this out as I'm building my succulent. <laughs> we'll see how well that comes out. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right. Before I get started here, here's my new beer I'm going to try out tonight. It's the Keweenaw Brewing Company's The Widowmaker, and they are located in Houghton, Michigan, which is in the Upper Peninsula, or the UP, and it's a black ale. I've never tried one of these before, to be honest. Uh, Light-bodied ale with hints of smoky molasses. Ugh, I don't know about this. And then, what I thought were the machine guns, I just read this. The Widowmaker, an early pneumatic drill without benefit of dust suppression introduced to the Copper Country in the 1890s. It contributed greatly to the mortality of miners due to prolonged dust inhalation. Oh, God. That's from the Copper Mining Country up there. Why would they put that on a beer can? All right, I'm going to use my Stone Cold mug, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, this is dark. Darker than what I'm used to. I'll just do a little bit here. Let her foam up a second. Yeah, and Stone Cold Steve Austin, he's actually coming out with a new, um, I think it was, it's a lager soon through uh, his, uh, beer brand he has. The last one was an IPA and it was pretty good. I like IPAs. But uh, I am more of a fan of the lagers. So let's see how this one this well this is an ale. Black ale. Let's see how this goes. Hold on. It's actually not bad. I thought it was going to be more thick. I do taste the molasses, though. But it's good. Yeah. I can easily drink this up. Look at that foam now that it had. It's like crazy thick. All right. I got to start building a succulent here.
All right. I just kind of fast forwarded to the finished product here. <laughs> um, oops. I'm going to finish this. That Kibana, the Widowmaker, the Dark Ale. I actually kind of like it. It it tastes better warm um, than it does like ice cold, unlike a lot of beers or well, this is a newer ale to me. So anyway, here we go. It's good. I will say that. And I don't know how good this is to anybody. <laughs> it's cool. You know. None. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. Hang on. There's a little surprise in it. Let me see. Yep. I put a little piece of uranium glass in. Most people wouldn't know. Unless I told them. <laughs> so, anyway. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um... Like I said, I've had kind of a long weekend and, you know, looking forward to this coming week and hopefully all this rain washes out these crazy ice shoves where I go out in Lake Michigan in Kiwani and Algoma, Wisconsin. So, um, hopefully that'll bring apart or bring, you know, some newer opportunities here to find some fun stuff. Now that it's the first day of spring officially. So, all right. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.